<laughs> All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. I'm gonna start off this video by apologizing. I know in the last video I sounded really, really tired, and that's because I was really, really tired. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the battle. Alright, so I'm going to lead out, be leading out with my Ambipom as he leads out with his Espeon. I predicted him to lead out with his Espeon because I didn't, or I figured he'd lead out with his Espeon and then I could go for Thief with my Ambipom and whoa! Yeah, alright, so right here I'm going to go for the Thief because I knew it was super effective and I outspeed Espeon as far as I know at least. And it's going to end up doing a roughly half, but I do get mummy, mummy, the mummy ability from Kafagrigus. I can't talk. <laughs> so I'm going to switch out right away because instantly Ambipom's attacks are just going to go way down. Oh, by the way, I nicknamed a bunch of my Pokemon. Every Pokemon I have on this team is now nicknamed. I'm going to switch out into Gogurt, my uh, Floatzel, so I can absorb his Will-O-Wisp since I have Water Veil. It's named Gogurt because he's got an inner tube and then... Tube reminded me of Gogurt. Yeah, I, I don't know. It it sounded cool in my head. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so I'm gonna go for the waterfall, and since I have a choice man that's gonna do quite a bit, it does about as much as the thief did. I end up getting the mummy ability, which is bad because that means if he goes for a will o wisp this turn, then I get burned. But of course, I do end up flinching him, which is nice. He, right here, I'm gonna go for one more waterfall because I know I outspeed, and that's going to take him out. So, now he's going to go into his Espeon, and I know from a previous battle I had on Showdown, I think, yeah, it was on Showdown, that I do outspeed the Espeon, and I can go for a Waterfall and knock this thing out. So, quite a waste of an Espeon, but whatever. So he's going to go into his Charizard, and I knew he was going to Mega Evolve into Y, because even if he had a Mega Charizard X, it'd still do quite a decent bit. But here, he's going to Mega Evolve and then go for a Solar Beam. At least that's what I figured. So, he that is what ends up happening. He Mega Evolves, and he goes for the Solar Beam. I switched into uh, my uh, Heliolisk because Charizard... Or because, no, no, ignore what I just said. I switched into my Heliolisk because he really has no purpose at this point. And I think I'll outspeed the Charizard, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And if he dies, it's not the biggest deal in the world. I go for the Thunderbolt right here. And here. Oh, this was this was fun. I, I, you, right here, you're expecting me to go for the Surf, right? Right now, I'm going to go for the Focus Blast. I wasn't predicting anything. It was just a straight-up misclick. So, yeah. Fun times. Fun times. He goes for the knockoff, and... I mean, I don't know why I didn't just go for the Earthquake. I guess he predicted me to switch out or something. Or maybe... I, I really have no idea. Anyways, I'm going to go out into my... Duh... Duh... What's it called? This thing. My ice cream cone. <laughs> Can't remember what it's called. And right now I realize that the nickname is Two Cones. It's supposed to be Two Scoops, but I'm stupid and I, nick I nicknamed it incorrectly. But it is my physical defensive wall, because why not? Um, <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go into my Excadrill. Because I'm waiting for the sun to go away. And, uh, blah, if I could think. And plus, I don't need my Excadrill. And that'll get off a good bit of recoil. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do over half to the Dark Marathon, which is really nice. I'm assuming he is Choice Scarfed, because pretty much everything is. Or, pretty much every Dark Marathon is. So, I'm going to switch in my Floatzel, and, and I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet. And that's going to do him in. So, now he's going to go out into his Charizard. I'm assuming he wants to go for the uh, Solar Beam, because... Why else would he go into his Charizard? <laughs> I'm gonna go for the Aqua Jet just to get off as much damage as possible. It does about a it does about a fourth because of the sun, so not the greatest damage. It's gonna end up killing me, but right oh my Vanillux that's what it's called. Sorry, um couldn't remember the name until right now. But he's gonna go for the Solar Beam and end up knocking me out because Floatzel has like zero defense. 
<laughs> now I'm going to go into my Ambipom because I know I have to be Charizard. Plus, it doesn't have the greatest defenses. It has really good special defense, but not the greatest defenses. I go for the Fake Out right here just in case I don't outspeed it, which I know I do at this point. And uh, he goes into his Gengar. I go for the Thief right here, and he's going to go for the Focus Blast. But I am Calvin, or this is Calvin, and Calvin doesn't like Focus Blast, so he's just going to skillfully dodge it. And I'm going to go for another Thief and knock him out. So, now he's going to go back into his Charizard, because I believe that's his last Pokemon. Mm, I think it's his last Pokemon. I could be wrong. I'm going to go for the double hit, because Charizard, like I said, or Charizard Y doesn't have the greatest defenses, like I said. Oh, no, it's not his last Pokemon. Okay, sorry. Now he's going to go into his... I honestly I have... No idea, I can't remember. Oh, it's Gliscor. Okay. So, here, I'm going to switch out because I know I can take whatever this thing's going to do. Because, like I said, it is a physical defensive wall. He's going to go for the knockoff, and it's going to end up doing about 30 damage. And he's going to knock off my leftovers. And now he's going to go for the earthquake this turn. He outspeeds me because I don't have any speed IVs. Or EVs. Because, you know, physical defensive and such. <laughs> Here, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam and knock him out. So, just in case you're wondering, and I can't remember if I said it before, I have fixed his nickname. It is now Two Scoops, not not Two Cones, because that's just wrong. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.